the brand new Rococo head camera is finally here. So in this video I'm going to do a unboxing, showing you what's inside of the box and all of its contents. Then I'm going to do a initial setup and then do some tests with it and let you guys know what I think of it. So let's do some facial performance capture, shall we? So I think the shipping time was around 3 to 4 working days. The head camera comes in this very nice black box with some Rococo branding on it. I always appreciate quality boxes. It makes the whole unboxing experience feel more premium. Not that it really matters, but it's a nice touch in my opinion. And here you can see some Rococo branding on the box, as well as the product name over on this side, head cam. First we have the head cam unit itself. And it was a bit finicky to get it detached from the cardboard boxing. The head cam unit is powered by a USB type C. So you can plug it into your phone, whether that's a Android phone, an iOS phone or a Windows computer. Then we have the manual and getting started guide over here. Then we have a second piece that snaps together with the head unit. And then we also have some soft cushioning for your head as well as some velcro straps for this suit. The head unit and camera itself only weighs 240 grams. And to be able to achieve that weight, it's made mostly of a very lightweight plastic. I also at the same time think that's okay in order to achieve this lightweight. It really feels light like a feather on your head. That's a very nice change from the other head camera systems I've used before. So I suggest that you fully read the manual to get it up and running. You want the camera to point directly at your nose for example and not upwards or downwards. Then we also have some product specifications. That's pretty much it. It's not that much in the box actually. There's three ways to adjust the size of the head camera. You have two straps on top. You also have a knob at the back, which you can turn in order to tighten it. And then you also have, like I mentioned before in the box, a cushioning on the sides of your head to make sure that it sits very snugly. And it's a very comfortable fit, I must say. The head camera unit also has a very small built-in LED ring light attached to the camera, which works great. Touch on the back of the camera. You can adjust the brightness settings of the LED so let's put on the head camera and do the setup and some initial tests. So as mentioned before, you can plug it directly into your iPhone or Android device. And I probably have to play around with this some more. The tracking on my phone freezes more than I'd like to. Perhaps this is addressed in a firmware update soon. I'm using a Google Pixel 7 Pro, so I don't feel like the phone hardware itself should be the issue here. But I've noticed that the tracking mask freezes more than I'd like to. But to connect it to Rococo Studio, at least, it's very easy. Just download the Rococo Face Capture app on Google Play Store, then insert the USB-C cable into your phone, and the device is automatically found in Rococo Studio. So the setup between the phone and Rococo Studio was very seamless, so that's very nice. I've done some facial performance capture in iClone before using AccuFace. So if you plug in the USB-C cable into your Windows computer instead, you can use the head camera directly without using Rococo Studio as a web camera input. And AccuFace works very well, but I found that to get the best possible result, you want to actually record some footage instead of streaming it to AccuFace. So I suggest using a software like OBS Studio or something to record the footage from the head camera and then use that video file instead in AccuFace so you can tweak the settings at your own pace and really dial in the details. Here I'm also showing you a straight out of camera sensor video quality. So I'll put this up on full screen here so you can see. And for the uh, extremely tiny size, I think this camera is quite, uh, quite decent actually. Kind of impressed with the quality, at least from the uh, size ratio this uh, camera has, weighing only 240 grams as mentioned before, which is extremely light. In iClone and AccuFace, you can use the various tools to get a better result from the uh, facial capture. 
As I saw in another video, which I agree on, you can't really get pixel perfect facial capture straight out of any solution. There's always some tweaking involved to get good mocap and facial performance capture. So you always have to be prepared to do at least some cleanup, regardless of cost of the hardware. And here we have some results of the head camera with doing some light cleanup in uh, iClone and AccuFace. Hi, my name is Michael, and this is a test with Rococo's head camera. Even though I'm not so impressed by Rococo's own face capture app as of right now, I hope that this app will get updated and become a bit more stable in the future. This head camera is system agnostic, so you can use it just as a USB web camera, meaning that you can use it in a multiple range of softwares and tools. And I really think to get the best possible facial capture, you really have to record your takes and not stream them. So you can dial in the settings, the calibration when you have like time and not do it in a very stressed manner. So I only used the head camera for a few days and so far I'm really enjoying it. I think the top feature of this head camera is definitely its weight. At only 240 grams, it really feels like you're not wearing anything on your head. I could comfortably say that I could use it for an entire days of shooting and not feeling fatigue on my head. So that's very nice. So I'm really looking forward to do some more tests with it and more specifically some projects with it. If you'd like to learn more about facial performance capture, motion capture or 3D in general, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you have any questions about the head camera, let me know down below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Rococo head cam and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!